Hello, my name is Anthony and today I'm going to be demonstrating the maintenance and care procedures required for O-ring seals. We recommend that every time you open up a product to service it, you perform these basic but very important checks. This advice in this video is common to all sewn known products that use O-rings, from OBC beacons and WSM transponders through to USBL transceivers. Today, I'm going to be using a Compact 6. Without the correct maintenance and care of O-rings, water can leak into the product and cause it to fail. Here you can see the results of using damaged, badly fitted or ungreased O-rings. There are clear signs of water ingress, salty residue and staining on the electronics. In most cases of water ingress, the product will be ruined beyond economical repair. Before you begin to disassemble your product, please refer to the product manual. It will outline the correct procedure for safely removing end caps together with the part numbers of the O-rings used. Always have spare O-rings available just in case you need to replace them. The O-rings we supply are made of nitrile, so you need some petroleum jelly for lubrication. Here at Sonodyne we use Vaseline. With end cap removed, you're now ready to inspect the O-rings. To do this, you'll need to remove the O-rings from the end cap. Only ever use your hands as using a tool can damage both the O-rings and the machine surface of the end cap. If your product is fitted with a double O-ring seal, remove the outer O-ring first. Using your fingers, push the O-ring sideways until it begins to rise up out of the channel. At this point, you can pinch the O-ring, allowing you to remove it completely. Repeat this process for the second O-ring. Perform a thorough visual inspection of the O-ring, looking for any signs of damage. Even the slightest nick or imperfection can cause a leak. This O-ring looks fine, so I'm going to set it aside on a clean surface. Now check your second O-ring. This one has a small cut in it, so it should be replaced with a new O-ring. Always store O-rings in a clean, dark bag and never use second-hand O-rings. Once you've completed the servicing of your product, you're ready to reassemble it and refit the O-rings. Always ensure your working area is clean and dust free. If your product is fitted with an anti-extrusion ring, make sure this is refitted correctly. The O-rings and the bore of the tube need to be properly greased with a thin layer of Vaseline, coating the whole surface. The way to do this is with your fingers, making sure they are clean before doing so. Work the O-ring through your fingers, taking care not to apply too much Vaseline as this can cause clumps, like this example here. Now lubricate the inner bore of the housing. With your end cap ready, take a greased O-ring and fit it directly to the innermost O-ring groove. This helps to minimise the risk of damaging the second O-ring. Locate one side of the O-ring into the groove then slightly stretch the O-ring to locate it fully. Make sure that it is not twisted. You can check this by looking at the mould line. It should be in the centre all the way around. Now refit your second O-ring. Again, make sure this is not twisted. With both O-rings fitted, you're ready to refit your end cap. As you insert it, watch out for any debris like hair and dirt. Ensure that the end cap is pushed fully home, then secure the end cap as described in your manual. 
Thank you very much for watching our video today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more information about any of our products, please visit sewndine.com.